Julio has just finished a two and a half year sentence and emerged from prison with a remarkable portfolio of paintings. After showing great resolve and determination to make the most of his time in prison, he now has his first public exhibition of paintings in London. I have been interested in art all my life anyway. It takes about six weeks from the transaction from being in prison to have any kind of activity, whether it's work or, or education related. And the first ever induction was in the art class. Two hours went by really, really quickly. My mind was just transported out of the, where I was, basically. And I just thought, wow, this is, this is just amazing. Fragmented life, and the reason for that is that once you land yourself in prison, uh, that's how I felt my life had turned, basically. And I, actually, I saw a lot of people with mental health that shouldn't be in prison, but are there. And the teacher just said, whoa, he's like, have you painted before? I said, well, not really, but you know, really, can I please borrow an easel so I can paint that in the cell? And there was no looking back since then. Basically, this is the exact cell um, specifications of a prison cell. And I wanted to show everyone that came into my exhibition to get an idea of where all my work was produced. So, literally, this, the size of my bed, and my bum bed, obviously, which was like to share with someone, someone else. Toilet there, wash basin, some the set of drawers, and the TV and stuff that we've got here. And that, the most important place, is that little square there, which is, uh, is where my table was, and where all my work was done. This picture is about um, how I felt the first six weeks of being in prison. Um, it was to do with uh, um, isolation, basically, uh, and how time seemed to go around very, very slowly. Almost 23 hours every day on, in the cell. It was just very, very therapeutic. It was my escape. When I, whenever I pick up my brush and, you know, paint, I don't think about anything else but what I'm producing, so... This particular picture was the one I won uh, the prize through the Kostler Trust. But she is like confined, so I wanted to represent the cell, the confinement. And I just kind of thought, okay, well, you know, you're gonna be here for a while, you're gonna have to focus. It's about reaching inner peace, and through art and the therapy of it, I reached that inner peace. This piece is called Blood Diamonds, a theme that really touched me, you know, to know that in this day and age people are still almost uh, slave uh, over producing and finding these, these stones. Uh, the title is called Climax, and it was my interpretation of, of what happens when you have a climax, really. This particular piece is called Gale Power. Now, what I wanted to, to do with this piece was to, um, to show how I missed uh, sex, basically, how I miss women. I produced 60, 60 paintings uh, overall. Um, most of them were actually done on prison uh, fire blankets that I recycled. I stretched all the blankets um, and I had to recycle the staples, basically. There was a staple gun, but no staples. Or there were some staples, but that wouldn't fit that gun. So I had to use, like, peel each staple by itself and then hammer them in to try and uh, to use them. So, you know, it was kind of raw. All these little containers, you can see they're all kind of vitamin uh, containers and hair, hair gel, and literally just smuggled the paint from the art class to myself so I could paint. I think people, if they haven't found a way to go through life, you know, with something, doing something that they enjoy and 
you know, trained for something, is because they've been missing support somewhere along their lives. And if, if they can find that support in a prison, then why not? Why, if you can change one person's life, it's a great achievement. This one was my last ever piece that I did when I, before coming out. It's called The Tree of Life. Light, you know, I felt so energized. I felt that I really had reached that point where I'm, I'm ready to, to go out. So I just kind of proved to myself that I could train myself as a, as a painter, putting me, myself through, through the really hardest times of my life. And I've, I've achieved it. And I'm ready for it. And here I am with my exhibition. You know, I am the living proof that art can rehabilitate.